Hey guys, welcome back to Tools on a Budget. Today I have the HyperTuff uh, 12 volt 3 8 inch impact wrench. Um, this appears to be the revised one from this one. Um, this one comes with like a two mode selector switch, uh, whereas this one had none. And um, this one had a few issues, but I, it was mostly down to the batteries, I believe, um, not the actual um, tool itself. The tool has been great, as you guys can tell, I've used it quite a bit. Um, it's got a quite a bit of use since I got it. Uh, I like I like using the tools even though I have a bunch of them. I like using them all just to see how long out in the real world real world, sorry, how would how long they would last. Um so let's see this one is rated at 225 foot pounds. I still have the box for the other one. Let's see. Let me grab it. Oops. Okay, so the original one it was rated at 300 breakaway and 200 foot pounds, 280. So this one's actually oh, okay sorry so this one's rated at 280 breakaway and this one's rated at 225 so this one's actually been um revised that they actually gave you a, a lower torque number um but i i think it's gonna hit about the same as this one i think this is just more realistic um uh, don't get me wrong that's a good little tool but it's a uh, i don't think it was hitting anywhere near the the 300 uh foot pounds or 280 it claims all right so let's open it up i'm sorry let's see so the other one had a problem where if when the battery was about halfway halfway um drained it would um it would go into protection mode and it wouldn't let you impact anymore and you'd have to let go of the trigger and re-pull it, pull it again in order to get it going again. Um, I think I think it it was due to the battery, but it is fixable through some through a software update onto the actual PCB. They could actually fix it. Um, at least I believe they can. Here's uh comes with the charger, the actual gun itself. Oh, it's packed. Oh, it's already pre-installed. Battery comes pre-installed. And uh, here's a little manual. Uh, no belt clip for this one, but here it is. So this, um, it sounds the same as their newer high torque where it doesn't automatically just hit for full power like this one. See how that one instantly goes to the full power. This one has a little bit of a ramp up. That is on power mode too as well. See one. So that's for forward, that's for forward. Same thing. Um, I kind of don't like the little ramp up mode. This one actually feels, it sounds a little bit faster. They're almost identical on the outside. Um, this one looks slightly thinner. Um, but this one actually, it's at a more, more of a killer deal. It comes at $54.99. It comes with a four amp hour battery, I believe. Yeah. So this one before it would come with a two amp and now they just automatic. And then they, they did like a little uh, update. I don't know if it was because of my video, um, where people noticed that it was, um, having issues and a lot of people noticed that as well. And they commented on the actual page for the manufacturer. Um, but this one, and then they started bundling with the, with the four amp hour drive battery, sorry. And then um, now it just comes with a straight four amp hour out of the box. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm not, I'm not too big of a fan on the ramp up speed. Um, they have to have changed something here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and charge this battery and we're gonna do some torque testing right now. I'm gonna torque some stuff down and see how it does. Um, and then we're gonna do this one. We're gonna do it with the other battery um so see how it sorry guys i was getting a call so like i said i'm gonna go ahead and torque and charge this battery and then we're gonna torque some bolts down and then um see what kind of results we get out of it i'm thinking this will do about the same and then we're gonna we're gonna try it with that this battery is about this one like it's already to the point where this will trigger when i'm impacting something hard it'll 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 get stuck so we're also we're gonna put this battery on here and then um, a different video, I'm going to take both of them apart and the batteries as well to see if anything has been changed. Um, 
see if they're using any different type of cells something a little bit beefier a little bit more reliable because the last thing you want is you just impacting stops impacting stops impacting stops um it can, it can get on your nerves pretty quick um when it's fully charged don't get me wrong it's an amazing tool especially when it was 69 dollars. now it's 54.99 and it comes with it comes with the bigger battery and it comes with the dual mode selector um if this thing doesn't have that issue anymore this is a i would recommend this thing all day to anybody and um yeah guys uh so stay tuned for that i'm gonna go ahead and charge these up and i'll be back all right guys so since it claims 225 let's go ahead and get started at 150 so let's get to 150 7500 150 foot pounds so let's see how it'll do 150 150 give or take power mode 2 fully I did fully charge the battery now let me find my socket no, it's right here all right three two one it off fairly easily all right let's go up to 175 175 let's move this out the way so i don't drop it One seventy five, give or take. Verse three, two, one. Pretty easy. Now let's move up to two hundred. It's two hundred right here. Okay, 200. Three, two, one. Fairly easy. All right, 225. So we're at 225. My torque wrench maxes out at 250. But honestly, if it does 225, It hits 100% of its target, which isn't too bad for a small little tool like this. Three, two, one. So it took a couple, it's a couple like two or two or three seconds, but it did do it. So it's still fairly easy, in my opinion. So 250 foot pounds. This is my, the max on my torque wrench. Two fifty ish. Yep, pretty easy. Okay, so just for fun, I brought the other one out, and this one isn't fully charged, but that's exactly what I want. I want to put this battery, the original one, into the newer one, see if it'll do the 250 foot-pounds um, once it's already a little drained. So we still have 250 on here. So let's go ahead and uh, torque this down to 250, and then we'll hit it with uh, the half-charge battery. Cause let's be honest nobody uh, carries a full chart all day every day so this is a more realistic um way of checking so this is the full charge one 
Here's the older one. Two, two bars. So here we go. Let's see if it'll do it. Three, two, one. Honestly, that's pretty good because look, when I put this um, battery, same battery, no camera trickery here, put into this one with this socket, reverse. So now let's try it with the new battery from the newer impact. Honestly, um, this one does feel a little bit stronger, but um, I feel like they fixed the mechanics, uh, what was wrong with the, the original design. Uh, so that makes me pretty happy. All right, so stay tuned. So as you guys saw, um, it feels like they did not They did fix the problem that this one was having, where I feel like the motor was pulling too much amps to the battery, to the battery and overheating it. Um, this one does hit a little bit weaker. I can just tell just by feeling them. Uh, I feel this like this one does hit a little bit harder. I will charge both batteries and do like a lag bolt test for you guys. But that'll be a separate video. Um, also, the next video I'm going to do is I take both of them apart. And um, so you guys can see that if anything's changed internally. Um, they did revamp the, the way the motor works. This one gives you the full, uh, full beans right out the gate. As we're opposed, this one takes uh, two seconds, about two seconds for it to ramp up to its full power. Um, ideally, I would prefer this power method over this one. But if as long as this one keeps running fine without uh, not having to worry about the battery cutting out and stuff, um, I'll take this design all day over this one um, because nobody likes a gimmicky tool. Um, still a great tool. Use it a lot. Like I said, it's not, not like it's a big deal, especially for the price you're not going to find a 12 volt impact wrench for that price uh, especially not when this strong and and now that this one's released honestly i'm gonna recommend this one all day long um just based off what i feel and i do like that it does have the the power mode so that's pretty cool and the fact that it now comes with a four amp hour battery amazing and they lowered the price 50 54.99 i think it was what i paid and it comes with um battery charger and the actual um tool and they actually the charger they include now is more of a decent charger before it was just like a little like a little dc converter where you plug in and it uh you had a little barrel plug now it's an actual uh, where you plug in your battery into the charger so it's a, it's actually a little bit of a better charger uh, it claims to be a rapid charger which is pretty good cool and um yeah for the for the price this is unbeatable 54 dollars um it's insane that HyperTuff is coming out with tools um, for the DIYer, especially the quality is not anywhere near as bad as you would think. When, once you feel this in your hand, it feels like any other tool. Um, I know sometimes the colors and stuff may be off-putting, but personally, I like the gray and black scheme, especially with a little bit of red. Um, kind of gives me like Star Wars Sith vibes. But um, yeah, overall, it's a great tool. Um, like I said, I'm very happy that they actually um, listen to people's feedback and went ahead and fixed the problem where this one was getting um stuck and honestly if you guys live near walmart uh be sure to check out um online the, these are going for like twenty dollars with the with the old battery so i would go ahead and look around see if you could find one um go into the store and price match the online price uh, around here there's about two of them i don't really need another one um, but I might just go pick it up so I can give it away because it's still a decent tool. Um, honestly, I prefer this one all day just from feeling it so I don't have to worry about the battery or charging it. Um, this one feels like, and don't get me wrong, I'm still going to test it out more. Um, if I do find an issue, I will report back. And uh, this is just some of my preliminary um, testing. Um, from what I see, I like it, especially for the price, lower price, better charger, better battery. Um, I don't know about the internals yet, but we will find out uh, once I take them apart, see if anything's changed. Uh, but yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, remember, if, if you like this content, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.